What is good, YouTube? Quinn Way Basketball Analysis coming to you with another NBA talk to get everybody hyped for the regular season. I did a prediction on Rookie of the Year. And it's one guy that has stood out to me since Summer League in pre-draft. He's a firepower. As you can see by the title, it's Kyle Kuzma. I will be doing a breakdown on Kyle Kuzma because I'm going to cover all the rookies this season. It's a series called Rookie Analysis when I break down with real NBA footage of rookies and how they improved over the season, how they played before the I mean, at the beginning of the season, and how they're playing now. So look out for that in the future. But right now we're going to talk about how he's played in summer league and how he has played in the preseason. I know that a lot of people are going to say, well, he's not playing against good competition. The guy he's playing against, sub partially NBA players in summer league, some of them people can, is going to be in the NBA. Most of them people are not going to be starters, and they don't play that many minutes, and sometimes they sit. So you can say, well, people play against lukewarm competition, and now he's playing in, in the preseason, and now he's putting up numbers in the preseason, and can we really buy into that? Is it really true? Can he really play? Can he really put up 20 points a game? The answer is probably no. Um, the thing about it is Kyle Kuzma can score. He can space out the floor. He can knock down threes in mid-range. He's, he's a guy that is not scared to shoot the shots. He's not scared to take shots. He's a confident player. Um, I love his swagger. I love his energy. I love his, his grit. He just have a positive attitude when I'm watching him play. He 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 just he's fearless. And the reason why I say no, he can't average 20 points is because during the season, you're going to see a lot more of them going to Brooke Lopez in the paint, in the pick and roll, with dump offs, alley oops sometimes, because Lonzo Ball can throw the alley oops. You're going to start seeing Brandon Ingram. He got 15 shots the first game. He had a little bit. The next game, but he's going to have nice when he's hot. He's going to have nice when he wants the ball. Same with Brooke Lopez. Lonzo Ball going to be bringing the ball up, even though he is a pass-first player. Then you got the minutes for everybody else. But Kyle Kuzma, the guy is ridiculous. He can be instant offense. I like Larry Nance Jr. because he's long. He's athletic. He plays with a lot of hustle. He plays with a lot of energy. And he can be a solid player if he continues to grow and fill out his body and continue to work on his skills he has the talent he got to work on his footwork his patience and he got to learn how to score consistently and have go-to moves to become a great player in the league and i'm talking about larry Nance jr kyle kuzma is a guy that you can put at the small four or the power four position and he's, he's not the gonna blow you away with three-point shooting but he is gonna be a scorer Rather, is off the dribble, off the catch when he's at the three-point line and dribbling. The guy just know how to flat-out score. And for him to get 20 points a game average on 54% from the field just in summer league alone. And the funny thing about it, in the preseason, that's funny, he's still averaging over 20 points a game in the preseason. The most shots he took in a game was 17. And he knocked that down at a 52% field goal percentage. And he shot 4 or 9 from 3, which is 44%. That's where you want to be. Also, his first game, he shot 75% from the field. And he put up 19 points. The next game, he shot 77% from the field. And he only missed two shots for 21 points. The dude can flat out score. The dude can flat out shoot. And the dude has a lot of confidence. He it didn't get the mesh with Kareem. He gets the input from Magic. Kobe Bryant, one of the best scorers in the league history, is gonna be coaching him, talking to him, giving him advice, and counseling him and help mold his game. And that's gonna only enhance how good Kyle Kuzma can be. But the answer is, can he win rookie of the year? The problem I have with that is the Brooke Lopez factor. He's going to want his shots, he's going to want his touches, and he's going to have to do it in a variety of ways. Next is his minutes. He's a guy that's been playing so hard and hustling and really showing what he can do, and he's just been a star of the preseason in the summer league. That inability to shoot efficiently at the same time, 
it's going to be hard for him to get minutes because he's a rookie and they're going to try to win games as much as possible because they have new ownership that's focused on winning and not just tanking. If he does get the minutes, he's going to put up solid numbers because he knows how to play. He picks his spots. He, 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 he just a guy that has a lot of confidence, and I like this guy. The thing about it is he might put up the scoring numbers, but the problem with Kyle Kuzma really winning it, can he fill up the stat sheet like a Lonzo ball? Lonzo can get you 8, 9, 10 points, kind of like Rondo, get you 10, 12, 13 points a game. From getting backdoor cuts, spot up three, some transition basket, getting to the free throw line. Lonzo Ball can get you about eight, ten, and eight, and about four, five, six rebounds. That's going to be the problem with Kuzma. Can he fill up the rest of the stat sheet to get recognition for the rookie of the year? And the reason why I say that is certain players, like Michael Carter Williams, he wasn't a great player. He didn't have a ridiculous season, he had more shots. He had more opportunities and he played more minutes, what gave him the opportunity to put up more empty, they was empty stats, and he was able to win, run away with rookie of the year. Can Kyle Kuzma do more than just score? Can he be a great defender? Can he get the rebounds? Can he continue to be efficient? Can he get to the free throw line? I done seen that a lot from him in the summer league in the preseason. He relies so much on his quickness and his jump shot and creating space for his jump shot that sometimes he forgets that he's supposed to go to the paint. And if he doesn't have a good shot, which he's been shooting efficiently, he can get more points by being aggressive and trying to draw contact to get fouls. And that can up his, his scoring and that can help him get a breather at the same time when he does get the minutes. But can he fill up the stat sheet? Can he get three, four, or five rebounds a game with the minutes he's going to get? Can he get three assists a game? Like I said, Ben Simmons is a rookie that's going to be his competition. Ben Simmons can get you eight to 12 points a game with 10 rebounds and five to six to seven assists. And he's going to play a lot of minutes if he stays healthy. And he's going to get a lot of shots because he's going to either have the ball in his hands, playmaking for others, but he also going to be playmaking for, I mean, Markel Fultz and other players can playmake for him, getting him easy baskets, and he's going to continue to look for his teammates, but he also can put up the rebound numbers that can hurt Kuzma. Kuzma might be the best scorer that we have besides Malik Monk. Um, Kuzma, Kuzma might be the best player in the draft after this season is over. But uh, all you have to do is put up empty stats. And whoever put up the best stats usually wins. Joel B doesn't really count because he didn't play as many games as the other rookies. And he really didn't have no competition anyway. He just couldn't stay healthy. But the rookie of the year and the most improved player is basically who puts up the best stats on the team. And Kyle Kuzma might not have the opportunities as, as Alonzo Ball, as uh, Ben Simmons, and Mark Hill folks, they're on terrible team. They have the ball in their hand more, and they're going to have an opportunity to put up more stats. And I know Kyle Kuzma can come in the league and average 12 to 18 points, maybe 12 to 15 or 16 at the highest. That's just my opinion. It might not be true. I'm just telling you how I feel. I feel like he can do that. I can see him coming off the bench or starting and earning his minutes and starting and putting up those type of numbers. He did show, though. In summer league, that he can get you 10 boards. Remember, even in the finals, he was able to get 30 points and 10 rebounds. He's not going to be able to get as much because you do have Randall. You do have Lopez, who's not really known as a rebounder. You have Ball that likes to get rebounds. You have Brandon Ingram. He's going to have to grab out three to four or two. So, plus he might not get the minutes because of Randall and Nance. So, I like Kyle Kuzma over, or over Nance at the power forward or the small forward. But I do like Nance because he can switch and he can protect the rim and, he, and he's a freak athlete and he has high potential too. The Lakers are going in the right direction. They're drafting good right now and they're making solid trades to enhance their future and still have flexibility with the salary cap. I like what they're doing, but the question is, can Kyle Kuzma win Rookie of the Year? And the answer is yes. Will he? We won't know. But with those facts of the can he put up the stats? Can he continue to score for 82 games? Will he run into a rookie wall? Can he stay consistent? Is he going to get the minutes? There's a lot of questions around Kyle Kuzma. Is he going to play the three? Is he going to be a stretch four? Is they going to just let him play 
center sometimes. We don't really know what to expect. We only can go based off what we've seen in the preseason. Everything is going to change when the regular season comes because teams are going to be focused on winning and how they can better their chance at doing that. And Kyle Kuzma might not be the guy that they need in particular situations what can hurt his numbers. But his competition do look pretty crazy. And like I said, you do have to add Malik Monk in there too because he's been showing out too offensively. But he's not really putting up the full stats either. He's just putting up good scoring numbers. So let me know what you guys think. Do you believe Kyle Kuzma can be rookie of the year? How good do you think he can be? Can he be a, even a six man of the year kind of, uh, six man kind of season two where he can come in the league and put up 15, 16 points off in 28 to 30 minutes and really fill it up offensively and have a chance to be six man of the year? Those things to consider. You know how I feel. Let me know how you feel in the comment section below. Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis. I'm gone. Check out my website, analysisplayground.com. The link will be in the description in the comment section below. Also, check out my Facebook page, analysisplayground.com. The link will be in the description in the comment section below. All you got to do is click the link and send it to my website. Sign up so you can see the content. And all you got to do is click the link for my Facebook page. All I'm doing is asking you guys to like to show support. Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis, and I'm gone. Let me know what you guys think.